Operation Maelstrom. series that woke up this morning and got themselves a gun. Bada bing, forget about it. I'm the New Jersey Knight. I'm the voice of Virginia, KVD. And we are here to talk about the dodge darting hard farting events that are taking place in our little section of the map of Derbyland. Hopefully a larger, broader section of the map of Derbyland. And speaking of said larger, broader section of the map of Derbyland, took us to Familiar Grounds, Capital Clubhouse in Waldorf, Maryland, where we saw Southern Maryland Roller Derby, one of our home leagues, taking on the Rocktown Rollers. Uh -huh. Oh wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. So we got a we got sponsors all wait, we got a sponsor from one of the leagues. Ah. Against another spot. What? what? It's Inception, Skateception. Yes. It also might be why this episode's going on so late. Uh, we had a lot of things going on. Just want to make sure that's clear at the beginning here. Uh, we've been doing the bout footage, redos. We've got summer fair stuff we're going to talk about later. There's been a ton of stuff going on in the pantomime. Uh, of course, you should be watching our short right now and voting for it. Uh, we'll talk it about is. that a little bit later, too. But for now, we want to talk about the bout. Let's talk about the bout. Ooh, footage. All right, here we have... Giggle, 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 it went from winter to summer overnight. Yes. And already here, you're seeing something, I don't want to say new out of Southern Maryland, but their, their wall strategy is starting to really show. It's starting to pay off. Gigglehurst does get through, takes lead jammer, but they held her all the way to the second turn, almost completely out of it, which is not easy to do against Gigglehurst. No. Gigglehurst working with six lead jams and 61 points for the game. Yeah, she had a hell of a bout. Yeah, she always does. That's true. You're going to see uh, a couple, or definitely a new face on Southern Maryland here soon. So here we have Juice Box. Or just Juice. Juice, now. that's yeah, right. Just, just juice. juice. Taking on Ramsey McDirt Bag. Aptly named McDirt Bag. Yes. Doesn't be derby for her. Aptly named. <laughs> and she sneaks on through, takes lead jammer. She had three lead jams and 17 points before she took herself out in the second half due to a knee injury. Yeah. Which is unfortunate to see for the final bout yeah. with the team. Um, Juice does finally get through, eligible to score here. Uh, had a little bit of trouble there, but this is the juice we know and love. Like she was, she got knocked down. She got immediately back up and was trying to push her way through the pack without stopping at any point in time. It was good to see. As Ramsey calls it off before Juice can get there. All right, here we have Smack Mamba wearing the Star Four Rock Town, and Carrie Chaos wearing the Star Four Southern Maryland. The jammers are choosing to go whenever they want, yeah. regardless of what the whistle says. You don't tell them what to do. Don't tell them how to live their life. They'll do what they want. That is Smack getting through already? No. No, that was Ramsey on her way to the penalty box as she gives us a nice little... Um, and so it begins. And so it begins <laughs> as she passed us. Southern Maryland has lead jam here. That is Carry Chaos. Carry Chaos takes lead. She had lead three times with 51 points. We have a failure to reform called on, uh, is that executing? I believe. Smack does get in and gets by. 
backwards with a little shimmy. Uh, you know, that's yeah, what she does. That's what she do. A little bit of style and profile. Can't little, say the actual thing. A little flair. A little flair. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Having a hell of a time getting past Pixie. Pixie proving that she's not just a jammer. She's also a hell of a blocker. Another four points there going for her. As Execute rejoins here. Looks like four points for both jammers. This is this is something we saw a lot in this bout was them chasing each other because the score was always, you can see in the background, 33-47. It's close. It stayed that way the whole night. Five points on the board there for Carrie Chaos. Power jam. And power jam. This I think this is the one where Carrie Chaos gets most of her points. This might yeah. have been like that 23, 24 point jam. She took full advantage of that power jam, as you will see here. That one went the distance. Three points there before it came to its natural conclusion. And now friend of the show, Car Bomb Kelly, with a power start. Yep. As Smack Mamba is in the penalty. And gone. quick work. Gone. Just like she do. Gone. Car Bomb Kelly. She gone. She takes Lee Jammer. Le Jammer. She had six this game, working with 33 points. Hey, that's her number. Oh, look at that. Beer. Car Bomb conspicuously absent from the after party. I'm going to give her crap here uh, as she gets a track cut. He goes to the penalty box, not because of the track cut, but because she was not at the after party to do Car Bombs with me. Supposed to be happening all season, so we did one in her honor instead. You did one in her You're honor. Darn right, because Guinness is my bl Irish blood, and I don't share that. <laughs> Little known <laughs> that fact, mentality. That's how Guinness is made. It's really? just a bunch of Irish people donating blood. Then how do they make whiskey? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> we got Smack Mama really, really fighting here. She told me after the game she was very very tired and you could see she jammed a lot in right. this game well especially in the second half you yeah. know when you lose Ramsey the the jamming rotation is shrunk quite a bit almost a third at that point because it was predominantly smack and giggle hurts back and forth and whiskey yeah whiskey with her beautiful custom I will say artisanal jersey for this one <laughs> Had to well, give her a little bit of guff. She brought her jersey, just the black was, one. It was the, the home one. <laughs> Had to give her a little bit of guff. We love yeah. Whiskey Ginger. Five points there for Carbon on that pass. She barrels through. No lead jammer here, so this one's going to go. It goes the full two. Cardio time. Juice wearing the pivot stripe here does push smack into the inside of the first apex forcing her to recycle back a little bit here and the jam does come to its natural conclusion all right here we have giggle 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 giggle, 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 giggle hurts taking on a brand new face to the southern maryland family josie kinsakaho yes what an awesome name gone we Maybe have not a, lead jammer but we she's have, already gone we have a new speedster out of the speed force we usually uh reserve that for our our good friend monster rock she's yep. the scarlet speedster but josie quick is what we called her yes yes and that one was called off quick because giggle heard she she heard josie coming up and she had to call it off there's just no unfortunately there's not really a long clip of josie that we can use all right here we have bang bang pixie pistol Taking on Whiskey Ginger. Whiskey! <laughs> Whiskey Ginger was working with six lead jams and 37 points. You see our good friend Art Vandalay there uh, calling what's going to be lead jam here for Southern Maryland. Again, we talked about it. Pixie had a hell of a game. Yep. She's had a hell of a season so far, she, actually. She had eight lead jams in the game and 57 points. She's really come along. I mean, yeah. she was good last was, year, but uh, she's really gotten good in the offseason. Absolutely. There was, uh, there was a time where she would get 
eight, nine lead jam, but it was just her bad luck that she was always against someone that was right behind her. She yeah. had like ten points for the game because someone right. was always behind her, had to call it off. Wasn't the case here? Nope. She did the calling off. Like that? Oh, man. Right? That was good stuff. Right? That was good stuff. All right, you know, two teams we love very, very much. Of course, one has to win, and we're happy that one did win. But it was close. One, one has to win. It was very, very close. Um, down to the last jam. Mm -hmm. It was... Which is the bouts that we prefer to do. Yes. I mean, we would love to do all bouts, but let's be honest, from a fan's perspective, you get that one that's really close. Oh, God, the nail biters are the ones that, that mm. are the greatest. But like I said... One had to lose, but one did win. Southern Maryland takes the Duke 192 to 171. Their very second uh, ever. ever. Their first sanctioned win. Mm -hmm. And we called both. Yes. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, always a good time with both those leagues. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame to see that that was Ramsey's final bout with the yeah. team. Um, not in general. Things we've seen her post since, uh, since moving. It looks like she's. Still gravitating towards Derby. Fitting in well. Mm -hmm. And, of course, she's going to fit in anywhere she I mean, goes. she's a Team Virginia All-Star. That's something, you know, you kind of got to keep that career going. You don't want to mm -hmm. just let that go. And right. she's awesome. Great person. Um, I think I think we should try to get her on the show at some point. Maybe in an interview at some point soon, hopefully. I did that. What? Right? Thought ahead there. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. We... I don't have anything else to say about the bout, other than it was just a lot of fun. It was it great. It was. Always is. Always fun to see our girls, you know, um, the ones we truly, truly love. Thanks to Chris it. Simpson for being the camera guy on that one, because uh, yes. we were not able to bring a camera guy, so we used uh, footage courtesy of Southern Maryland Roller Derby on that one. So Absolutely. thank you. That's why it was also a different perspective than you're used to, because uh, they set up in turn two, one, turn one. We usually one. set up in four-ish right. and then move. Who knows? Mm. Um, a lot of fun. Yep. But to our camera, you want to do your thing? All right, I'm here with Blaze, and we are celebrating the second win ever in Southern Maryland Roller Derby history. How are you doing today? Amazing. This is my first win. You remember the last win, I was broken. That's right. I do remember everyone rushing at you with the broken leg, and you're like, oh, God, no. But since this is your first time on Greetings from Derbyland, give us the secret origin of your derby name and number. 98 is... Um the temperature of the human body, and I'll just say that my nickname is Balls, and you know where I'm going with that. So that's where I came up with it. I'm not sure you can put that on. We, we can't. <laughs> Quite the family show here, you naughty, naughty girl. Give us the um, uh, uh, the thought process of you, you, know, you, you have it in your head. We're up. Oh, my God, we're up. Give us the thought process of those last couple of minutes. Uh, hold the jammer. Get our jammer through. Do it. Just do it. Do what we've practiced and practiced and practiced. Well, I know that you uh, were doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, and it looked like your head wasn't in the game at the beginning, but it looks like it got into the game right as that very first whistle hit. Yes, and I knew it kind of would, but, yeah. Initially, it was hard to get in, try, you know, warm-ups and whatnot, and then uh, once I hit, took the track with my team, I was there. Not only is she hot in spirit, but she hot on her head. This is Blaze from Southern Maryland Roller Derby. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Ramsey McDirtbag from the Rocktown Rollers. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> Since it's your first time being interviewed, and unfortunately probably last time you're being interviewed, for greetings from Derby Lane, give us the secret origin of your derby name and number. Oh boy, okay, so I saw Ramsey on a license plate in West Virginia when I was living in West Virginia, and then McDirtbag, I'm McDermid, so it just, and it's funny, so I know you guys think it's funny. So. I think it's funny. I remember uh, you said someone called you that, and you're like, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My very first boyfriend called me Mick Dirtbag when we broke up, when I broke up with him. Whatever. He was 15. It's fine. <laughs> Take us back to the bout. This is your last bout here with uh, the Rocktown Rollers. Great. What were some of the thoughts that were going on uh, while you were uh, playing the – you only played the first half because you're neat. Yeah. I only. I mean, I, didn't, I shouldn't have even done that because it's gonna. I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow. But – you know, I just, I don't have a lot of feelings about it. I just, I'm like, I repress things. I'm just like, oh no, it's fine, no big deal. And then later I'll be like, oh my God, I miss them so much. It's okay. Right. But 
It was good. I was very proud of them. I mean, it was good for them to play the second half without me because now they know they can do well. They don't have to. I mean, I've, I feel like a lot of times with teams when you have somebody who's been around for a long time, the rest of the team doesn't really see their full potential because they rely on that person, whether it's me or whether it's um, Giggles has been around a really long time. Um, you know, and once you take that person out of the equation, they really come to shine. And that's what they did in the second half. They almost won with Ooh. seven girls, which is amazing. So couldn't be more proud of them. Yeah, uh, we're all proud of them, too, because we Except love. Except when they gave up that outside line. It's fine. Every time. <laughs> Spoken like a true New Englander. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> you know, speaking of New England, you're going to probably move back there fairly, fairly soon, maybe. I, I don't know where I'm going. I'm going somewhere. Um, I'm going to go somewhere that's not Harrisonburg. She's going to go where her head lay. I'm going to go where I get a job. Where to get that money, where to get that, <laughs> that jobby job. For the first and last time, we're going to miss her, Ramsey McDartbag. Thank you. I am here with Smack Mamba, the kiss of death. I'm, that's a, the first time I announced her name, I didn't. I, and I felt so bad, and I had a seven-part apology planned out over the course of a Derbyland episode, and I am so sorry. So I got it right that time. Smack Mamba, the kiss of death. How are you doing today? Tired. Always tired. <laughs> yeah, you were jamming a lot in that. In that, uh, I remember there was a power jam, and then uh, uh, a penalty. You went and then came back and did the full two for both. I, did that happen? <laughs> it all blurs together after a while, but... Yeah, we definitely were lower on people today, and I'm going to be jamming a lot more, so I just got to get used to that. <laughs> yeah. Since it's your first time on Greetings from Derbyland, secret origin of your derby name and number. Um, I'm a really big fan of Kill Bill. Um, favorite character is Beatrix Killo, mm -hmm. uh, Kiddo, sorry, of course. That was my original thought for my name. Mm -hmm. But um, other than that, for seven, it's just always been my lucky number. So. Take us back to the bout. Uh, other than being tired, um, I don't have the points in front of me, but you had quite the uh, number of lead jam status and you think you had somewhere around like 50 points pretty good for someone who's <laughs> tired uh, what was what are some things that you think you could do in the future to get your cardio up um i know i would like to run more um i'm also training to go out for team USA tryouts so i'm trying to be more active not only in derby but at the skate park and just running more often as much as I hate it yeah I, I see your videos and pictures of you at, at the skate park and I was like well I'm gonna be skating soon so maybe I'll, I'll try I got there's a meet tomorrow I gotta get up at 6 a.m. to go do skate park things so. not me totally right. <laughs> this one smack bomb up the kiss of death thank you so much thank you that's the fastest episode we ever had yeah it's pretty fast that's gonna be nice yeah I, I really enjoyed this type of it's true. Yes. Yeah, maybe the crowd will too. You're not going to in the next episode. I, I've already looked ahead at the schedule and, and we've got some extra things going with it. Sorry. No. Um, we want to talk about a couple things. Uh, some. We'll start with some somber. Yeah. Double somber. And yeah. then we'll talk about awesome yeah. to hopefully end on a, on a high note. Mm -hmm. ah! Sorry. Nice history of the world reference for you. I like it. It's a good movie. Um, first and foremost, our buddy Bill. Uh, Bill Carroll. Some of you may know him as uh, a thousand things, yeah. especially if you're in this area or in New York, where <laughs> it, he was huge. Right. He's <laughs> always he's wherever he goes. Mm -hmm. um, if you had went to Mix in Stafford on a Thursday night or Brox on a Friday and Saturday night, you heard some good tunes spun. He's the one who did them. Yeah. He's he's DJ Extraordinaire, uh, wedding DJ Extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. No. Um, Radio DJ extraordinaire. Yeah, just DJ. Oh, you know. He can also film. He helped film uh, the opening scenes from our short last Rock, year, Rock Exposure. Yeah. Uh, he can act. He was in Uop, another one of our shorts. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also been in a lot of other things. Uh, he's the head of the Institute for the Performing Arts, uh, Dino Time uh, Productions, DTFX. The man does a lot of stuff Nothing for a lot of people. he doesn't do, but. Um, some some somber news that when, when we went to Coastal Chaos that first night we found out that he had a stroke and then over the course of that weekend he had several strokes so we immediately when we came back went to go visit him in the hospital big smile like always and then he got released and then had another stroke thankfully since then no more strokes um, I hear progress every day um, memory a little fuzzy but everything else like his voice which is his his bread and butter mm-hmm 
It's still there. It's still there. It's still always sexy. Yep. It is. It really is. It's, it's, it's a sexy voice. It's a sexy voice there, Bill. Yeah. But uh, if you want to help in any way, mm-hmm. any way possible, in the show notes. Yeah, we'll put a link. We'll put a link for his uh, GoFundMe. He's had a lot of medical bills st- uh, stack up. Suddenly. Uh, there's yeah. been multiple trips to the hospital. Plus, he's, in, uh, he's doing physical therapy to help uh, get back and get mobile completely. Thankfully, he's been posting a lot. Yeah. Although so. he said that, you know, like we talked about memory, he said, he said it's a little hard sometimes for him to understand what he's reading and what he's posting, and he's got people helping him out. Thankfully, physically, but we want to try to help him out financially again. Show notes, yeah. take a look at that. Help him out if you can. Um, also, if you want to help someone out from the roller derby community, our good buddy Marv. Yes, Marv the Destroyer, Marv the Conqueror, Marv be anything scary anything she wants to be yes whatever, whatever. she wants you could be marv the the rainbows and kittens marv whatever seriously whatever i'm, I'm sorry sorry, sorry. I'm sorry yeah anything you want like don't <laughs> just don't hurt us we love marv she's yes. got a reputation on the track for being uh kind of a, a... go getter. that's a positive spin on it <laughs> yeah i like it um <laughs> off track though she still is <laughs> and, <laughs> but we love her she, she's our kind of people she's she's a little nuts she's our kind of nuts yeah. she's nuts like we are mm-hmm. and that's a beautiful thing um, unfortunately she did everything possible to her knee uh, from what I understand of the story was she was telling me also while we were at Coastal Chaos um, she injured her knee at about thought it was okay um, Didn't nothing that was worth getting looked at she goes plays another bout goes down real quick uh, torn MCL, no, torn hamstring and scooped PCL. One of the CLs. Uh, there's yeah. like, there's the hamstring injuries are, are getting a getting little there, yeah. frightening this year. Yeah. I don't know what it is about them, but it's like everybody we know that's going down with an injury is getting a hamstring tear or pull or, or any number of things. But she, she's hurt. She's out for the rest of the season. Um, also, the bills, mm-hmm. medical bills are not that easy at all um only thing worse i think student loans and uh yeah and a mortgage uh <laughs> otherwise uh, this is about as bad as it gets so help her out we're gonna leave a uh, link in the show notes i know she was talking about making some in marv we trust shirts with a picture of her looking very angry as per use i'm buying one uh yo totally i am and i, I hate, told her immediately and i hate white t-shirts yeah but, you know, it, 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 what she showed me was a white shirt but yeah i, I told her definitely as soon as it's yeah. done send them my way we'll also put a link for that on our site on uh on facebook when we know about it but the, the show notes will have uh the link for her gofundme definitely check that out mm-hmm. it's not not fun news we also yeah. have some uh some other things that are kind of going on right now that uh we'll talk about in next week's episode or next week's episode loosely um, loosely loosely weeks we've got a lot so much going on um so much in the pantomime for us right now uh, so we're trying to get this out quick that was the sad let's end on the happy like this kind of happy? No. Quick clap along. No. If you, I really don't. No. When have you ever known me to be happy? So happiness is the happy. truth. No. Happiness is also a warm gun. It's a nice, uh, nice little thing. Yeah, I like it. Yes. It's almost like you have like that. What this one? That, it's nice and warm in here, so maybe it's a warm. It gun. is. It is a warm gun. Uh, what warm what, underneath this jersey. What positive things could we possibly have to talk about? It's almost like we maybe have something oh, huge going on. Just stop it. Read the list. Oh, this list. Look at this. See it right at home? Can you read it? Good. This is what our show notes actually look like. Yeah. Um, it's chicken scratch. We have Summer Affair brought to you by the Cleveland Guardians coming up. That's going to be August 12th through the 14th. We have solidified pretty much, I believe, everything now that's going on. We, I know we had some some surprises, like the V Diva edition. I, I think it's a lock here. <laughs> I don't know how he can fit anything else into a three-day weekend. Um, and that he is London uh, mauling. He's the one running it on the Cleveland Guardian side. There's also Champ Unkind, our illustrious leader as announcers. Uh, we have Quadzilla, Smacktivist, Tink, Just Wing, Booty Quake, Next Level Skate Shop, Antic, Greetings from Derbyland will be there, of course. Uh, RollerDerbyAthletics.com. We mentioned VDiva, a new announcement, and the final one for this. Like I said, we have some things we're working on that were going to be awesome. Snot Rocket Science from Team USA will be there. So we're going to have a lot of clinics, a lot of fun things going on the first day and a half, and then a bunch of uh, half our uh, challenge bouts mm-hmm. for the rest of it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of fun. Check it out. And for some stupid reason, they're going to give us a live mic. 
Yeah, yeah, we're going to be doing interviews. So for those of you out there who are watching this, because I know London's been posting these episodes inside of the, uh, the event page, uh, those of you watching it, we will be interviewing several, if not all, of these skaters that I mentioned, as well as some other people live in front of a studio audience the first couple days. Um, anybody out there watching at home who won't be there, you'll get to see them. But after we've had some time to, over the uh, course of several months, we'll we'll, we'll stretch yeah. we'll stretch it out. And it's gonna go into the you know the cold months. Yeah, and make sure that we. Have time I wish that where it was right now. Oh God, I don't know how this studio is as hot as it is. It was not like this it was last. Was never season. like this. With hotter lights, it was not like this last season. But um, yeah, those those are, we're gonna stretch them out after we get a little bit of uh, finesse on them on the uh, on the footage. Uh, Hand will of course be there to help us as always. Um, Pez will be the one running our cameras for the weekend. Uh, and one extra addition to our team, Mosh Pit Mama from Fredericksburg Roller Derby will be taking over the Greetings from Derbyland Instagram and Facebook for the whole weekend, posting up photos and, and video uh, from the whole weekend. So follow us if you don't. It's GF Derbyland on pretty much everything. Um, and if we can think of other social platforms, if that's a social platform you want us to be on, let us know. Oh, yeah. 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 Please. Because we're all about connecting with all of you. It's literally the only reason that we do this is for you. Because it's a lot of work. And we love it. But it's for you. Um, I have nothing else. I think that was a, that was a lot. That was, that, was, that was a good handful. So I'm done. Cool. Well then, uh, make sure to like our channel, our Facebook. Subscribe, sorry, to our channel. Like the Facebook. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Do all the things. Just just do things with our, our social medias. GF Derbyland. Of course, when you subscribe to YouTube, you can find out all the other videos that are not just the proper episodes that we're loading up. But, you've seen the sign on the side of the road that says you're exiting Derbyland. Good night, and thank you. <laughs>